Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to link a Google Sheet to Figma to use it as a content library using the CopyDoc plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to your Figma file, click on the little resources icon up here, and if you just search for CopyDoc, so that's C-O-P-Y-D-O-C, and under the plugins tab, if you click on CopyDoc, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on this more options icon here and clicking save. And that's just going to save it to your plugins list for easy access. So I've already done that. So I'm going to go to my Figma canvas, just right click anywhere, go down to plugins, then go down to save plugins and click on copy doc. And that's just going to run the plugin we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, it has a bunch of different features to help you manipulate and export and import text. Today, we're just going to be focusing on this content library feature. So if you click on the content library button here, that's basically going to open up this content library panel. So uh, I've done another tutorial showing you what this collections tab does, but for today, we're going to be focusing on the integrations tab. So if you go ahead and click on the integrations tab, you will basically see that it defaults to the Google Sheets option. So if you've got Google Sheets selected, you're basically ready to go. So what we can do now is we can actually link up a Google Sheet. So I've got a Google Sheet set up over here uh, with a couple of bits of content. And I'm going to copy this URL into the CopyDoc plugin by going to the share button over here in the top right, clicking on that, and just making sure that the general access setting is set to anyone with the link can be a viewer. So you want that to be anyone with the link is set to a viewer. And then once you've set that, go ahead and click on the copy link button to copy that to your clipboard. And then if you go back to Figma, you can now paste that into this uh, input field where it says add new Google Sheet. So I'm just going to paste that in there. And that's basically going to fetch the Google Sheet URL. And once it's found the tabs, it's going to load up the content and populate the content library here with your text. So that should finish loading. And you'll see that we've got our snippets in here that we imported from Google Sheets. So this is getting imported directly from this URL. So this is basically live uh, data that's getting pulled in from Google Sheets into your Figma content library panel. And what this allows us to do is use that content in our designs. So I'll show you what that means. So we've got this uh, headings snippet here with a bunch of different variants. And if we basically go ahead and select a Figma text layer, we can apply any of these variants to that text layer. So for example, I can apply a random one just by clicking on this apply button here. And if I keep clicking it, it'll just keep doing random uh, text replacement, or we can select one directly. So we can select one of these snippets and that will automatically replace the text here. Uh, likewise with these projects down here. So if we wanted to replace some of these projects with uh, updated project names, what we can do is select all of those text layers. And then in our projects uh, snippet over here, again, we can, we can hit apply and that's automatically going to apply those to our text layers. Uh, we can also have more control over the way those are ordered. So if you're doing multiple applications uh, of text, you can do it uh, ordered. So that'll basically follow the original order. So Nike website, Adidas banners, uh, ads, Apple ad campaign. So those are in order, or you can do it randomly. So that'll randomize the way that the text gets rolled out. If you'd wanted to do a more random version, or you can do alphabetical uh, reverse or, or the otherwise. So you can go A to Z or Z to A. So that's just a really quick way of having a bit more control over applying those text layers. Uh, likewise, we can apply these to single layers as well. So of course we can click on this project name here and populate it with one of our campaigns or one of our uh, titles. So that's a really quick way of doing that. And then of course, if we wanted to update these in Google and reload them in the plugin, we can definitely do that as well. So maybe we want to add a new uh, item over here. So we could do, uh, you know, Disney campaign, add that in there as another one. We could maybe uh, delete some of this content. So I'm just going to delete this cell here. We can add another uh, variant. So we can call this one uh, taglines. So we can basically add more text in here. So I'm just going to do test content here and another tagline here. You can obviously populate these with uh, much better content than that. But now if we go back to our Figma plugin and click on the little refresh icon down here, that's just going to fetch the Google Sheet again, reload the content, and you can see we've now got our new taglines item. So uh, if we drop that into here, we can apply that as test content or this other tagline here. Uh, we'll randomize that. And again, if we open up the headings, you can see one of them has been removed. 
And in projects, we've got our Disney campaign as well. So we could easily use that right there. So that's a really quick way of uh, syncing up data from a Google Sheet. So this is a really cool way to keep your content library in sync. So you can add as many of these columns as you like. You can just keep adding uh, multiple columns and those will automatically get added into the Google Sheet Sync feature over here. So I'll basically leave it there for today. I just want to give you a really quick fundamental overview of how this feature works and how you can sync up your Google Sheets to use them as a content library with multiple snippets, multiple variants. Uh, as you saw, you can basically just add uh, as many rows as you want. So you can just populate these uh, and create as many text variants as you want for these different types of uh, text snippets. And that's gonna give you a really easy way of uh, loading in realistic content into your designs that's basically been approved or uh, is ready to use instead of just using Lorem Ipsum copy or anything like that. So I hope that's helpful. If you've been wondering how to use your Google Sheets as a bit of a content library in Figma, uh, the new content library feature in CopyDocs is gonna be a really uh, helpful way of doing that. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.